Good afternoon, folks, and thanks for coming out on this terrible, terrible afternoon we've got here in October. Um, we're here today to talk about this paving project that I'm going to let uh, the, the Deputy Commissioner of Highways, Jimmy Riston, explain the project to you. Then we've got a couple other people that have a few words to say. Jimmy? Well, thank you, Bert. Um, this is a very much needed project that we're out here on this beautiful autumn day. Uh, very much needed project. I'd be remiss if I didn't uh, mention Mayor Case, Case Bolt and Senator uh, Jeffries reminding me of the needed project uh, diligently over the last several months. But uh, the Roads to Prosperity and our secondary road initiative has been very important to the state. We've been moving along as quickly as we can. But I will tell you, as much as this project is needed, it wasn't ready to be done until today. Uh, our own forces are out here even now getting this road ready. We've issued the purchase order to our contractor, and we'll be paving this 2.2 mile section of roadway here very shortly. Our Roads to Prosperity, uh, our Roads to Prosperity vision that the governor had nearly four years ago uh, is really come to fruition in a project just like this, projects like this all over the state. We've, uh, we've used the bond money, we've used our own state funds, we use our federal aid funds, and we combine those things to get good projects for the people of West Virginia. Much like the Nitro Bridge project, just a little ways up the road that we'll be starting before the end of the year as soon as we get our permits cleared. So that's another great project for this area, all made possible by the big bold vision of the governor with the Roads to Prosperity program. This particular project will run from the Moose Lodge down there, down the road down that way for a little ways, all the way up to Walker Chevrolet. And as I mentioned, our own state forces are out here working today on this road. Our approach to secondary roads and, and the major through arrays, and this is a major through ray through Nitro, which, uh, which will be very, very helpful in, in, in the growth of Nitro. So, uh, but we, uh, we take the approach that we'll pave these roads when they're ready to pave. We have to take care of the things that deteriorate the pavement. That means get the ditches pulled, get the pipes replaced. All the things that deteriorate these roads. Now, when we're ready to pave, and we are ready now here, we will, we will have a pavement that will last for years and years to come. We'll, we'll extend the life of this work. Uh, I really appreciate the cooperation and, and the patience of all, all the folks. I mentioned Senator Jeffries. I mentioned Mayor Case Bolt. They've, uh, they really have done a very good job representing you folks and uh, keeping, keeping this project on my mind. So we, we definitely are moving forward on it, even as you see. So uh, without further ado, I'll let Secretary White come back up. Thank you, Jimmy. Uh, we'd like for... Mayor uh, Dave Casebolt to say a few words about this project and, and how it affects this city in uh, the planning and economic opportunity it will develop. Uh, Mayor? Thank you. Secretary White? Folks, it is a great day to be a Nitroian. It, it, it's been something we've been looking forward to for a long time. So this is really great. Uh, not only are we getting a new bridge, now we're getting 2.2 miles of new road. We're seeing new investment. So it's just going to help bring in more investment, we hope. Governor, I'll tell you what, you've made everybody in Nitro very happy today. No ifs, ands, or buts about it. Uh, they, uh, uh, Senator uh, Jeffries, I agree with uh, Secretary Riston that you've been a big part of this too. We appreciate everything you've done to help us with this. And uh, so, Governor, we're very thankful to you guys recognizing this problem and then taking the, taking the time to address it. And uh, we're, very, we're very, very happy about that. So we appreciate everybody's work on this. All you city council members have made calls, Billy and Andy and all you guys, all the citizens in town that have made calls on this, it's all coming to fruition. So it's greatly appreciated, and we're looking forward to it. Thank you, Mayor. I remind everybody that this is another Rose to Prosperity project. It's part of our second edition or second tranche of bonds that we've, we've issued. 
that were part of the governor's vision for improving our state. Uh, we all, uh, there's a lot of people put a lot of licks in, but none of these licks would have been possible without our governor and, and his vision for the prosperity of West Virginia. So I'd, I'd like for him to come up or sit down and, and say a few words to you about this project and how important it is to him to get these roads in our state in much better shape. Thank you, Bert. Well, it's a beautiful day. A beautiful day in West Virginia, a beautiful day in Nitro, a beautiful, beautiful day. Now, let me just tell you just this. You know me, I take things on head on. I always have. I got to tell you this, that these folks across the road, you know, just think about this just for a second. They have every right to express themselves in freedom of speech, and we welcome it, do we not? But I want to tell you just this. The ring leader over there tried every way in the world to defeat the Roads to Prosperity bond referendum. Tried every way in the world to defeat it. And if he'd tell the truth, he campaigned, he did everything in the world to defeat it. We wouldn't be here today if you hadn't overridden his crazy wishes. Now, he doesn't really deserve recognition, but he tried every way under the sun to defeat it. Now, in doing so, in doing so, he claimed that it would raise your taxes beyond belief and do things like that. I said it wouldn't raise your taxes a dime, and it hadn't. Today we're here announcing a project that's really going to help you and help this community, and it's done by the great work of the mayor, our great Senator Glenn, you know, and I say Glenn because I always call Glenn by his first name and I expect him to call me by mine. But I am telling you, this community deserved what you did, you did, in getting out and voting and voting in a positive way and off we went in West Virginia. If we had not passed the Roads to Prosperity West Virginia would have probably never seen the surpluses that we see today. We would have never seen the pay raises for our teachers, the help for our vets, all the roads that we have fixed all over Kingdom Come, all the goodness that we've done. So I tell you just this, I could never be more proud. Right out there, we're putting in a gigantic new bridge. Right here, we're doing paving right in your back door. And absolutely, we're on our way to continued more and more and more goodness for West Virginia. So just keep it up, stay the course, love your communities, and love West Virginia. You know, I never wanted a thing. I still don't want a thing. All I want is just absolutely one thing, and that is just goodness for West Virginia. So I'm happy that people can express their freedom of speech but the truth needs to be told. The truth needs to be told. And that's all there is to it. I stood rock solid, went all over the state trying to get our Roads to Prosperities passed. It passed by 73% of the vote, when really and truly he had the naysayers that were out in the wilderness and everything coming up with the craziest stuff in the, war in the universe. But look what's happened, and goodness is on our way. So God bless each and every one of you. Thank you all so much. Thank you, Governor. He says he doesn't want any thanks, and he's serious about that. But, folks, he deserves it. Without him, this stuff doesn't happen. These thousands of projects we've got going on all over the state would not happen without the vision that he had. So he doesn't want any thanks, but he sure deserves it. Thank you all very much. I know he's got a tight schedule and got to run. Uh, Jimmy Riston, I'll be around for a few minutes if you've got any questions. Thank you.